Tourist Tiger Nation, Martin Chuck here, and am I ever excited about the British Open? The Open, as they call it. It's at St. Andrews, and I got to play there once. It's a bucket list. I had such, I had such a great time when I was there. The golf course is unique in that it's a links course, meaning that you play out on the front nine and you actually share some greens. Then you play on the inward nine back toward the clubhouse. So right along the, the whatever that water is over to the right and <laughs> the whole way out there. And then back in where you have the city to your right. So if you slice the golf ball all day, guess what? Problematic. If you hook it, that's my miss. It tends to go into the golf course. Ho-hum, go find it. Hopefully you're not in a, one of those bushes with gorse in it, gorse bushes or a deep bunker. But let's talk about what those folks are going to be dealing with at St. Andrews. Usually wind, usually kind of a bump and run type situation. And I'm going to hit two shots and you'll see what I'm talking about. My full six iron. Full six iron for me is about a 185 shot. Let's go ahead and send one down there. Full shot, full motion. And so if I didn't have much wind or maybe I was downwind, that would be the full, hit that really well on my line, quite like it. But when the wind's blowing, you want to kind of keep the ball underneath that wind. And to do so, the easiest way I've found isn't to really move the ball back. It's really just to change the rhythm of your swing a bit and reduce the overall size. So you saw what's called a full swing, where my arms went total motion on both sides. Let's enjoy something a little bit more three quarter. Setup's gonna be the same. Maybe in fact, I might even narrow my stance a little bit. Now watch this mildly abbreviated event and maybe from the down the line camera, hopefully you can catch the slightly lower flight. So here would be, uh, this looks a little bit more like Tommy Fleetwood if I can be so humble in saying that. So a little bit of a staccato finish and there's more of a flighted shot. Naturally, I probably lost 20 yards on that. Maybe it flew 165, but there's control because it didn't get up in the air and the wind can't beat it around and it can fly underneath the air, underneath that, you know, the, the gusty air and have a bit more control. So when you enjoy the British Open, take notice of these golf swings. They're not going to be total full rippers. Now they'll have license to do that when they're downwind a little bit. Um, Different situations may call to hit it really hard, but typically when the wind's crossing or in your face, you want to kind of manage that a little. And the easiest way for most of you is just to kind of feel like your swing's three-quarter on both sides, flight it down, take extra club, and you'll play way better golf.